What is Sven covering today? Today being Wednesday, we are covering some Starfinder. When last we left our intrepid adventurers, um, we are doing the Dawn of Flame group right here. See them all in their glory. When last we left them, they are uh, dealing with a break-in at the museum. You can see all of it on the use in the tubes. Search for Fenster 77. Look for the playlist. It says Donald Flame. And there you will find it. Switch my background real quick. Go into a creative mode. See, did I turn it the right way? I did, I did. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we are... Once they're done with the museum fight, they are going to be doing some investigation to lead them to the Brass Bazaar. And in the Brass Bazaar are some of these encounters here. Um, so we looked at this one already. And we used this as the setup for it. I found this map and we decided to use it. So I'm going to minimize this because I'm probably going to use it again. All right, so let's see what this. Um, so the shield leak, I don't know that we need a map for it. Let's see. It says Corona's. Corona is the atomic. Roll, work, roll, work, roll, work, roll, work, roll for initiative. How was Atomic today? How are you doing, good sir? Hopefully you are uh, sitting back and relaxing after an awesome stream. Playing some Paladins, very cool. So when they're uh, they're in these bubbles of uh, on the surface of the sun, these little and the cities within these bubbles, this one does not have a, a fun, has a malfunctioning solar shield. So they've they manifest as wide beams of plasma and radiation. Um, some res residents are resistant to the extreme temperatures on in these, but the electromagnetic discharge and radiation still pose a hazard. Each of these beams lasts only a moment before the shield regenerate reengages. All right. Um, So let's take a look at the encounter. It is a solar p p p p plume. We will see what happened. So it's a 30 foot radius beam of solar plasma, which does 46 and reflex save for half. Plus low level radiation exposure. So, if they feel they're safe, they'll have radiation exposure. The frequency is around. That's rough. Radiation sickness disease. All right, so... 
I did set up a note that I pulled from the reference manual, Starfinder reference manual, and let's take a look. It is, he says, radiation sickness disease. So we'll pull up the disease. All right, I don't see, let's see, is it say sample of afflictions? Let's take a look here. All right, this, here we go. Curse of lethargy, different curses, diseases, addiction, blinding, bubonic plague, filth fever, which is a uh, mummy rot. Filth fever, fever is from rats and that type of thing. Slimy doom. All right, so I don't see radiation sickness on here at all. So where is this listed, let's see. Let's go to the book, since they don't have it linked in here. This is a book. And we will see. It should be in the back with the appendices. One would think. All right, what do we have here? We have different locations within The archipelago. This is different uh, weapons and gear in the Brass Bazaar. All right, so it's not there. Let's take a look at this place and see. Shield leak. Interesting. All right, so it doesn't talk about radiation sickness. So let us do one last search. For radiation sickness, Starfinder. <coughs> Core rule book one hundred and four. This is a stellar revelation. It's not really what I wanted. Let's see if this is what we're looking for. Addiction. Okay, these are all the things I just showed you. Radiation sickness. Was it just was it in my list and I just didn't see it? Were you guys yelling at me saying it's here, it's here? Because I don't see it if it's here. 
understandable afflictions. Where are they saying it is? Oh, see, this is a different page. This is 419, 18, 418, 419. Yep. This one is by itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add it. Take it. Control C. Go here in our sample of flick, 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 flictions. Let's see, this is. Oh, this is just a link with a note. Okay. Um, so I can't mess with this. This is right from the store, the core rule book. But I can. Um, I'll just add it right here into in here. Open it up. Control V. Boom. Alright, so now we open it up. We take a look. We make this, we hit control two. So just like with in D and D, fancy grounds is, is the same across when you're messing with these things. Right click, paragraph type, control one is the normal text, control two is the heading, and that's what I just did. Control three put allows you to put it in here. Alright, so This, yeah, so this, the disease is once a day. That's why I was so surprised about the once around for the other one. Okay, good. All right, so I'm also going to then put it right here in other. See, it says, radiation sickness, disease, see below. There is no below. Now there is. All right. So now it's all together. It's all there. Um, Q, Q, Q. I'm not going to worry about... Making a map for that. This is just going to be a theater of the mind. All right, so let's take a look at um, the hard shell cell. Corona merchants are masters of manipulation. It's best used when a PC is about to enter another encounter. Or any self doubt sown here can have an impact. All right, so practical, pristine, Hawks, drugs, and electronics. The PCs find themselves in a large crowd gathered around Pristine's booth. She's giving her pitch. This is a, this is a really cool picture, too. Um, I like this picture. It's well-drawn. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, and so she also manipulates them. Um, so if they refuse, they have to have a certain, make a certain check. Let's see what it actually does. I 
Activating the Add a Blossom is a standard action, causing it vibrate and hum pleasantly, filling a 20 foot radius with a sense of ease. A creature in this area that fails DC will save. Has a minus to perception, and those against that things that cause sleep. Operates for one hour a day. So it just allows you to sleep well. Very cool. Alright, so again, I don't need a map for this. Now, there are times when I like to make maps for these type of encounters because I don't like where the only time there's ever a map is when there's a fight. Because that gets them in the mindset of, oh, there's not a map, there's not going to be a fight. Um, I can tune out, I can look at my phone, I can do whatever I want to do. Um, or, there's a map, so there's a, that means there's a fight. So, I do like having encounters that don't really require a map to have a map. And, um, pew, 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 pew. I know what, I think I will. Uh, I, as I'm thinking about it, it's not going to be that hard to make a little map with this type of thing in it. Let's go to our images. How much time do I have? I have about 25 minutes. Um, we'll go here, we'll go to uncategorized. These are some of the pictures I have. Future city, future town two, which one's that? Gotcha, gotcha, okay. All right, burning. Those are the bubble cities I was talking about. Here, these. All right, so I wanted to look at this. This is a terrible picture. I have a better picture of this. I thought I deleted this one. What is it called? Um, Sun cities. There we go. That's what I wanted to look at. All right, so this is sort of like a rust. Why well, it's called brass, so it's like a brassy, rusty floor. That's what I was looking at. I'm trying to get the number, the so can I rename this from here? Let's see. It does not. Okay, I can delete it though. So let me just delete it. All right. So all right. So it gives me an idea. What is this? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Right click to make a new map. This is going to be called the hard cell. So I'm going to say We are in Dawn of Flame. Dawn of Flame. Book two. Hard sell. So it's going to be called, and here we're going to say brass. Bizarre merchant, and then we will make it unidentified. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. Give ourselves some room to play with. 
First thing you should do is always check your grid. 50 by 50 is good. Um, the expert in all things, Josh Watma. He says to use 100 by 100. So whatever floats your boat, whatever works best for you. All right, so I want to look at, let's look at some ground. Well, I've got all selected. Come on. Oh, is it searching already through images? Okay. So I should have switched it to all first and then type ground. Oh, that's all right. It'll look. We will find it. What I, the plan is, is to have her with a booth by herself. Um, a little tent behind her. Crowd of people. Maybe a tent or two uh, in, the, in the outlying areas. Um, it's taking much longer than it normally does. While we're waiting for that, we'll throw up a quote. I will grab a rare rat or an unaware rat. There we go. All filters ground. Enter. Oh, because it says background. Okay, so let's go with. All right, so let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh. underground, and that's why it was so long. Okay, so I have a lot of, this is all, yeah, anything that had back, a ground, or stuff like that. All right, so I want some of these, I'm looking for these tents anyway. Okay, here we go, that would have been a good one right there. Let's go to that one. I like this, boom. We'll go to our layer. Um, take a look at this. Here we go. This is better. I like this one better. Okay. I don't want all the waves. There isn't really mud and stuff. All right. So this is 50 by 50 foot square. Um, that's plenty. So that's what we've got here. We'll boom and zoom out. And then we're going to go ahead and put our, go back to our grid. And uh, let us see it. <clears throat> and then we will zoom in. Um, I actually like the tint of that and the color of that grid. So we're just going to leave it that way. Um, do we want it to be this big? We'll go ahead and change it to 100. And then we're going to take, go to back to our layers, and we're going to shift it over so it snaps into the grid. There you go. All right, so here's our setup. Now let's find, keep going. Um, looking for a tent or an awning. Uh, I know we just saw some, but I'm looking for a, more from the top of view. The reason I'm getting all this other stuff is uh, some cobblestone. Very nice. She might have a rug in front of her setup. Yeah, 
here's the rest of these backgrounds. All right, so let's go ahead and just type in. Um, whilst, what I like to do is I do look search specifically for what I'm looking for on the off chance they actually have it. And if they don't, then I'll look for things that are adjacent to what I'm looking for. So what I want is a um, awning. So again, I have all selected. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so. Oh, by the way, first thing I want to do with this tile here, let's go back to our layers, layer select, background. Uh, the nice thing about this being snow is it's easier to change the color. And we want this color to be like a brass E, so it's like a darkish orange. Um, a little more red. It's max. Bring down this. Bring this down. Yeah, getting closer, getting closer to where I'm looking for. All right, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoosh. Turn it down just a smidge. There we go. All right, so there's our brass bazaar floor. Lock it. Now, the awning we want... Uh, I like this one right here. It's very cool. So let's, let's bring him in. Boom. Four by, so 20 feet long awning. I want it to be about three. So we'll say three. Um, we've got the stamp tile. Drake takes... Drake takes with the freaking biddies 200 bits. You are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> we are trying to build a map with the of this uh, brass bazaar and a, a woman who is a merchant who is selling. Wow. Some stuff for them. Thank you for the biddies. You are awesome. So it's so it says oops. Control Z. It says it's a three by three. But um it's actually not quite that f quite that size. So we go here to our layers and our select. So thank you for stopping by, Drake. Um, Drake does 100%. Actually, not 100%, um, because I know he does some uh, Savage Worlds, too. But mostly D&D, &D, live play. Check him out. Um, you'll see me as a player on several of his tables. He also has a U and a Tube channel. Um, he's very close to getting his own URL where he can personalize it instead of having a really long one. So if you want to do him a solid, if you want to do me a solid, then do him a solid and go to his YouTube channel and follow him so that he can get close. He he's, needs 100 to change the, the URL, and he's very, very close. So definitely check him out. Um, and I don't think you'll regret it because it's a good show. It's a good channel. So let's go ahead and, uh, I like it. I like it. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, do we want to change the color? Not right this second. We'll wait and see. I might tweak it later. Um, I also like this one. We're going to drop him in there. 
Let's have him ready to go. Maybe I'll put him at, on a different one. This way, I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm going to slap him over here a couple times. Make him bigger. Make him uh, three. We'll put a couple of them over here, so that way, if I need to, I can just grab them. All right, so now let's go to tent, T-E-N-T, -E space. Let's see what we can find again. We just have one. Interesting. I know there's more than one tent. I just don't know what they're called. See, because this, this by the way, here it says tent two, um, which means there's a tent one. Uh, let's try TNT without space and brace ourselves as 10,000 things come up. Here we go. Tentacles and stuff. Ooh, a round tent. That's a pretty cool idea. I like that idea of having her have a round tent. So, um, and I like this goblin tent best. We'll drop this guy in here. See, Keep looking, see if there's anything else better, but I like that. All right, so this one's not bad right here because you can always turn it. I think what I'm going to do is put this guy. So we'll use him a four by four. Yeah, that's fine. We'll stick him over here. And then I'm going to take this one for my main person. He's five by five. That works for me. So let's turn it. Yoink, yoink. And then go. Let's see. Curse Splat. All right, so it already has a built-in awning and everything. Um, so I think I'll just use this as my main thing. We'll take our one we already did. And we'll move it somewhere. Let's grab this guy. It's three by two. We're going to double that, make it six. Put him down here. Just looking at the other tents that are here. This is I don't mean to make this stream so intense. <laughs> Army GP small tent is nice size for a party. Yeah. Try camp. Eight more subscribers. There you go. Eight subscribers for Drake Takes. Check him out. Now, if you type, just search for Drake in YouTube, you'll come up with a very different response. Because there's a very popular singer named Drake. But if you go to Drake Takes, all one word. Then you'll find what you're looking for on YouTube. All right, so let's go ahead and put down This is more of a camping tent, which is what he was saying. Drake was saying, type tent, camp. Um, All 
All right, and I think we'll put this guy. Two by two, that works. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know if this will work just because it's four by three. Yeah, it doesn't have, um, looks like this is the roof, you know, and it should, there should be a body for it. Ah, but that does give me an idea. Let me try. This is four by three. Let's throw this guy in here. Make him also four. And we're gonna put him underneath. So we take this, we go boop. I need to stop. There we go. Nope, didn't work. All right, that's fine. All right, so take him. Goodbye. Okay, now we'll take our awning. Flip it around, flippy, flippy, flippy. Go to our other awning. So this one, I think I'm gonna put with this guy. Just make him a little smaller, shall we? Layers, layer select, three by three. We're gonna make it um, C 1.2. Rotate it. All right, so I'm looking at, that should be the outside, that's the inside. Now, nah, let's flip it. Okay, now we will hit control so we have free, it's not snapping to the grid. We will turn it to match the angle I want. go and then we're going to put this one on top of the tent so it goes on top there you go all right and now we're going to take him we're going to make a copy duplicate the layer so we can have um looks like you update up i forgot to update the stream again i did thank you for poop's sake Fine thing is, I let's see. So prepping for Starfinder. Thank you. Boop. 
Pull on my done. Updated and ready to go. Appreciate it, appreciate it. My sticky note is broke. That's right. Okay, so um got the awning done. Let me turn it just a smidge more. So it matches just a little better. Oh, this is my copy. Okay, so I made a copy, and the reason is what I'm doing is I'm making a shadow. So I then uh, go here to the tint, go, these guys are um, zero. This one is 100. And this one is, is it 75? And then what you do, you say okay, you then bring it down below the other one and move it like that. And there's your shadow. Uh, we can do the same thing with this tent. Copy. Zero. Zero. One hundred. Seventy-five. Put it below the other tent. Fourteen. Move it. Down. There you go. There you got your shadow there as well. Atomic with the quote. Thank you. Another quote by Micah. All right, so now I'm going to take these two awnings, or this awning rather, the top awning, tweak it just a little bit more because I want it, it doesn't quite match up the way I want it to. And then we'll do the same with the shadow. There we go. All right, so now let's mess with some colors. Uh, this is the, the bazaar, so we're going to go with doesn't really matter which colors we pick. Um, and then we're going to go with the awning. Make the awning the same. Alrighty, and then we'll come down. Oops, I thought you were locked. The background is not locked. Okay, background is now locked after I fix it. All right, so let's tweak the color of our main person. Our main color for her is going to be like a greenish. There we go. And again, we're going to take this tent. We're going to... Make copy. Go here. Zero. Zero. One hundred. Seventy five. Shift it, shift it down. And put it below. And we have our 
shadow. All right. Um, last thing, I'm running a little late, but uh, I want to get these two things done. I'm going to take you, little baby awning. Where the other awning? Here it is. He'll go with this. Control Z. He'll go with that guy up there. And we'll fix that later. But for now, I want to make this guy red. There we go. I like that uh, more purpley color. That's fine. And then we'll take the click on awning. Click OK. So then we'll populate it with a bunch of people. I'm going to um, add some distress in different colors, uh, maybe some tracks, uh, stuff on, on the, the, the ground. Um, like this guy. Like a yellow. Take his awning. Make it matching. And we're going to um, put the awning on top. This is eight, okay. Uh, let's put it right there. It'll be from the corner over. And we're gonna take it and just turn it just a smidge. There we go. So he's got a little awning for him. And then we take uh, hold shift. So we select them both. Boom, boom. And then we go copy. Take our copies. Go to the tint. You know the drill. And then we slide it down. And I'm probably going to take all these shadows and make them a little darker. Yeah, move it up to about 110. And then you take these two. And put them below the other two. Boom. Now you got your shadows. All right, so there's our basic bazaar. Um, well, again, this is just a, a fluff light encounter um, where there, there, there's no combat is what, I'm, is what I'm trying to get at. So I'm not really worried about a whole lot of detail or a whole lot of exact things. Um, I'm going to throw a bunch of tokens on there for people within the bazaar walking and talking and a bunch of people around her as she calls out to the players and such. Um, and that is where, so I've got this here. Let's make sure it's linked where I want it to be linked. Um, so here's the story. The story is the hard sell story entry. So we want to make sure we put the map here. Is it open? It is not open. Unlock it. Boom. So I've got, this is the merchant we were talking about. She's the one doing the selling. We're going to put this one here. Link her here. And we will link the story entry here just in case. I like cross-linking things so that no matter which one I'm looking at, whether it's the storyline or if I find the picture first or whatever the case, I have links to each other. 
um, or if I accidentally close one while I'm working, I can uh, always pull up the other one with the link. Um, I'll change the grid later, um, but for now, I'm happy with the grid. Uh, I'll probably just do away with the grid completely during the actual encounter because uh, it's not important. They don't need to be in grid squares so they could move anywhere they want. But during the drawing aspect of it, it makes it a little bit easier if we have the grid. So that is it for me today. Um, I've, I've great advice on the cross linking. I like I like I link I link like crazy too. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Some of my maps have you know pictures of every monster linked. Boom, 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 right there in the room. The parcel and the encounter uh, are all linked right there. In the uh, so I'll have like six or seven pins just for one room sometimes, um, but it makes it easy to, to, to find as I'm working um, those pregnant pauses while I'm staring and frantically clicking buttons. It helps alleviate that a little bit. All right, well, hey, Drake, again, thank you so much for the biddies. That is so awesome. Uh, taking that top spot again uh, on in the leaderboard. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. Uh, that is amazing. Thanks, Atomic, for coming by, hanging out with me, saying hi. Um, tonight is Wednesday, and is it the uh, tonight is December? Sorry, new map. So we do have. We do have D and D tonight. It is a little later for some of you, especially on the right coast over there. Uh, but so from for you, it starts at ten. For us over here on the left coast, it starts at seven. But you can always check it out on YouTube uh, in the next couple of days. See what they're doing. This is the Nashville Homebrew, my tenth level D and D mess of a group. Um, the, with all the homebrew things that I did back in the day when we started six years ago, maybe. Um, they're really overpowered. They're, they're closer to like 12th level characters. Uh, they have character talents. Um, and their hit points are one less than their max every every level. It's things like that. So uh, the tough, powerful group um, at level 10 kicking butt on uh, CR-14, CR-15 encounters and stuff. So, But it's a lot of fun. They feel like heroes, and, and we have a good time. Um, tomorrow night, we do have the late night crew with my, my son, my brother, my daughter at uh, 6.45, 9.45 over there on your time. Um, it's all 9, so come check that out as well. Like, subscribe, whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day.